All right, guys. <clears throat> I thought this morning I would do a balm by Rebel Potions. And this is her chili balm. Now, I know I already did one video on the chili balm. It was the amber and lavender that smelled wonderful. I love the way that one smelled. Um, this one is the Lord of Misrule. Um, now, I'm not familiar with Lush. I don't do Lush. But this is a dupe of that scent from Lush. Um, it's got um, a bit of a spicy scent. Um, a little bit of like a cologne smell. To me, this, this kind of smells a little bit manly. Um, it smells it smells pretty good, um, but I, I, I wouldn't be one to be able to tell you if it's a good dupe of Lord of Misrule or not. Because, you know, I've, I've never smelled Lord of Misrule. Um, but this is a big old balm, and it's got gold paint on the side. It's pretty. It's got its little, little glitter here. <laughs> I like it. It's a heavy balm. <clears throat> so let's see. Now, for those of you that's not familiar with this shop, she does have, oh, it isn't going to float. Um, she does have an Etsy shop, but she also has a web page. Um, and I will link both of them down below. Now, it's my understanding that she prefers you use the, um, or actually, I, I, I don't think she cares what you use, but if you use her webpage, she can get money faster, which means she has more money available for um, buying stuff to make her products with, you know? So, um, I used the website when I ordered. Um, you also earn what she calls rebel points. And so you get so many points for everything you buy, um, which you can use toward, you know, getting products later, you know. So um, I think Moon's Harvest has it. Um, there's another one that does that, but I can't think right off which one it is. All right, I'm going to get this little fella over here so we can watch it. <clears throat> and the water's already turning pretty. And just like the other one, this one has some awesome froth. It's really pretty yellow, different shades of yellow and peach. <clears throat> The scent has not faded in this balm. It still smells just like it did um, before I put it in the water. The scent is still really strong. <clears throat> Look how pretty that is. I'm just really surprised that these balms float as big as they are, as heavy as they are. <clears throat> Look at the rings on this. And there is a little surprise inside this balm. And I'll show you guys. Hopefully I can get this one open this time. Last time I, I couldn't get it open. I had to open it up and put a little picture on Instagram later. And the pictures of my, um, if you want to see what the um, the amber and lavender balm looked like. Um, I have the pictures of it up on Instagram. <clears throat> Look 
Can y'all hear the pop rocks? Let's see. Doesn't seem like this one's as, as rowdy as the other one was um, with the pop rocks. But there's little pop rocks in the water going off. <laughs> I like that sound. <laughs> like this. How pretty that is. I think it in big came out. <laughs> oh. So, oh, I can see the, the little surprise inside right there. Trying to be quiet, hoping y'all can hear the pop rocks. There's a lot of the pop rocks going off now. Okay, I think it's pretty much done. Let's look at this foam because it's got some beautiful foam. Look at that, how pretty that is. I love it when it has all, that, all those rings in the foam. I like it because these are the rings you can you can mess with you can really see how thick this foam is you can really get in there and play if you wanted to some foam um, on some bombs that you get it's not the real thick foam like this and when you drag your finger through it it kind of it doesn't come back together, so then it's not as pretty, but I like it when you get this good thick foam like this. It's just really pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. See which one this one is. Last time I got that little funny looking worm. Um, and these are from, um, let's look at the water right fast. The um, 
the little charms. These are little charms you can put on bracelets. Um, I guess you can put them on anything you want because they have a little hook at the top. But they're from the movie Labyrinth. And this, this balm will foam, foam up for us. Um, so look at that. And it still has that smell just like her other one I can still I can smell it on my skin and it is pretty good and moisturizing it does have good moisture to it <clears throat> and like I said with all this foam look at that if I turned on my water I could get it to froth up for me let me see if I can get this this one out so y'all can see it Let's see. Come on now. See if y'all can see that weird little critter. I don't know what it is, but y'all see it. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little hook on it so you can see. So you can hook it onto a bracelet. I wanted to show you because I'm not sure that I can get this thing out. That last one, I swear it was like, oh, it was. It was awful I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> I think I like used my teeth and everything. Oh, come on. Oh. Um. Oh, I got it. Y'all, don't use your teeth to open stuff, okay? I'm a bad example. <laughs> I'm setting a bad example here. All right, so here it is. There's my little charm with the little fuzzy red monster. I don't, I'm not sure what he is, but y'all see. I'll put him with my little worm charm. <laughs> so they're nice little charms. All right, guys. <clears throat> So there's our water. It's a pretty, like a reddish orange color. It's a pretty color. It's a really pretty balm. Um, to be a relatively new company, um, she makes beautiful balm. Or this is the second one I've set off and both of them have been beautiful balms. Let me put it that way. <laughs> I have some of the others downstairs. I wanna try them but yeah I like it okay guys um I'll see you all later I hope you all have a good day